Hello friends and welcome back to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. Today we are continuing our replay of the 1963 Milwaukee Braves season. The date today is April 17th, 1963, and the Braves are in a homestand with, and facing the Philadelphia Phillies, a rapidly improving team under Gene Mock. The Braves currently have a record of 5-2 and two on the young season. The pitching matchup today features Paul Brown for the Phillies against right-hander Lou Burdett for the Braves. And Burdett uh, has the unfortunate distinction of owning both of the Braves' losses to this point. He is 0-2. So, we are using payoff pitch baseball for this replay. Glad you're with me. With no further ado, let's get to today's starting lineup. These are as played starting lineups, my friends, because if we don't, heads explode all over this great land of ours. Tony Taylor will lead off for Gene Mock and plays second base. Don Hoke bats second. He's, of course, the star of City Slickers. He bats second and plays third base. Johnny Callison bats third. He'll play right. Tony Gonzalez bats fourth, he'll be in center field. Wes Covington bats fifth, he'll be in left. Don Demeter bats sixth, he'll play first base. Clay Dalrymple bats seventh, he'll be the catcher. Ruben Amaro bats eighth, he'll play shortstop. And Paul Brown will be the pitcher. In 1963, Paul Brown went 0-1 with a 4.11 earned run average. This is only the this is one of only two games he started on that season. These are the lineups that Joe Bryan uh, provides for replay use. I just click print and out it comes and it's very convenient for those who enjoy as played replays. All right, for the homestanding Braves at Milwaukee County Stadium, leading off in center field, it's Ty Klein. Batting second for Bobby Bragan, it is Frank Bowling, the second baseman. Hank Aaron will bat third in right field. Eddie Matthews bats fourth at third base. Norm Larker bats fifth at first base. Mac Jones will bat sixth in left field. Joe Torrey bats seventh, he'll do the catching. And Roy McMillan bats eighth, he'll play shortstop. Burdett is... Uh, on the mound, batting ninth, he went 6-5 and five with a 364 earned run average for the Braves, traded to St. Louis on June 12th. Okay, here we go. Now that we got the starting lineups out of the way, we're ready to play some payoff pitch baseball. Tony Taylor steps into the batter's box. And... Here we go. All right, a nine is going to be in play. That's a 45 against the right-hander, and that will be a comebacker gloved by Lou Burdett. He takes a couple steps toward Norm Larker and throws him the ball for out number one. We're underway at Milwaukee County Stadium, one of my favorite places in the world, but of course doesn't really exist anymore. The pitch is a patient result that's a 93 hit in the air to left field mac jones is there and he puts it away for out number two johnny callison comes to the plate the pitch another patient oh no excuse me it's in play and it's gonna be a looper and it's gonna be a base hit for callison two outs and callison aboard for Tony Gonzalez. The pitch. It's a defense check. That's a 33, which will be to right field. Hank Aaron is on the run. Uh, and I need our ballpark card. And here it is for County Stadium. All right, 
So we have a range at the kitchen. Oh my god, I smell gas. The ranch truck. Hank Aaron has range of D. So it's going to drop for a hit on a 1 to 56. He's going to catch it 57 to 99. And it drops for a base hit. All right, so let's see what kind of hit we got. It's an eight, and that's going to be a base hit. Callison is going to go to third. There's going to be Phillies at the corners with two outs now for Covington. A former Brave. Infield at normal depth. The pitch from Burdett is a ballpark check. Good thing that didn't go very far away. And it's a wheelhouse result for the left-handed batting Covington. Going to beat a right and deep. And it's going to be extra bases off the wall. Hank Aaron's got to run it down. Scoring is callous and it's one nothing Philadelphia. Ah, uh, now, because Gonzalez is a seven base runner, he's going to score from first with two outs, so it turns into a two-run double. For West Covington, and it's 2 nothing Phillies in the top of the first. All the damage coming with two outs. Here's Demeter. Burdett to Demeter is in play. That is hit in the air to center. Ty Klein in right center is going to make the catch, and he will for out number three, but the Phillies get two in the top of the first. And take a 2-0 lead in this game. Paul Brown now has a little bit of a cushion going for him as we go to the bottom of the first where it'll be Ty Klein, Frank Bowling, and Hank Aaron. Henry Aaron in the bottom of the first. Brown kicks and deals. That's a tough result. 39 high. Struck him out on the broccoli cauliflower medley. Gas. Here's bowling. Tough result, 58. Ground ball, Don Hoke to his left. Gloves it, plants. Throws to Demeter for out number two, and now it's Aaron. Paul Brown stops designing plays and makes the pitch to Aaron. It's going to be an in-play result. That's going to be a base hit for the hammer. Two-out single and Eddie Matthews coming up. Brown the stretch, the pitch to Eddie. That's a defense check. 76 is going to be an error check for Ruben Amaro, the shortstop. Amaro's error number is a three. One to 50, he's going to boot it. He does not boot it. He goes the short way to Tony Taylor for the third out of the inning to retire the Braves in the first. So we've played one in the books. And it's 2-0 Philadelphia. Braves looking for their sixth win of the season against two losses. Burdett will face Dalrymple, Amaro, and Brown. 7-8-9 in the Phillies order. The pitch is a patient result, and that's going to be ball four to Clay Dalrymple. He trots down to first. I'll bring up Amaro. Braves infield moves to double played up. The pitch to Ruben. Is a wheelhouse check, and this is going to be trouble. Going to be extra bases for Ruben Amaro. Look at Clay Dalrymple on his horse. He's rounding third, heading for home. 
Amaro gets into third with a triple, and it's a run scoring triple for the Phillies. 3 0 Philadelphia. Paul Brown coming to the plate. Braves infield is going to play in. The pitch. Patient result. He walked the pitcher. Two on with nobody out in the second. And I'm thinking it's time to think about some bullpen action. Hmm. Time out. Right-hander Hank Fisher is going to start to throw the 23-year-old in the Braves' bullpen. Infield at double play depth now for Tony Taylor. There's Amaro at third and Paul Brown at first. The pitch from Burdett is going to be a tough result for Tony Taylor, and it's a broken bat job base hit over Bowling's glove. Scoring is Amaro. It's 4 nothing Philadelphia. Stopping at second is Brown. There's still nobody out in the second. Don Hoke comes up. The pitch from Burdett is a ballpark check. That will be, for Hoke, a wheelhouse result. Oh, boy. See what happens here. Hoke... Gonna be a base hit. Brown is slow. He will stop at third. The bases are dripping with Phillies. And Callison comes to the plate. This might be Burdett's last batter. 4 nothing Phillies. Nobody out. Top of the second. The pitch from Burdett to Callison is a patient result. Hit in the air to right. Not deep. Brown is going to hold. Aaron makes the catch, and there's one down. Now it's Tony Gonzalez. Pitch to Gonzalez is a tough result, and hey, struck him out on a bender. <laughs> on a bender. A Luberdette bender. Uh, and now Covington, who doubled and scored and drove into in the first inning. Burdett's close to getting out of this thing. Demeter would be next. The pitch to Covington. In play. Base hit for Covington. That is going to be big trouble. Uh, yeah. So we've got a... Blooper into left, I'm sorry, right field. So that's going to be Aaron. Scoring is Brown. It's 5 nothing. Tony Taylor had a running rating of an 8. <laughs> so he's going to score. 6 nothing, And Don Hoke has a running rating of a 6. And he's going to go to third. That's going to do it for Lou Burdett on this day. He goes one and two-thirds innings. He allows one, two, three, seven hits. He walks two. They both scored. Let that be a lesson to you, kids. No home runs. He allowed six runs. They're all earned. But with two outs, Hoke at third and Covington at first are still his responsibility. Hank Fisher gets the call from manager Bobby Bragan. And he will bat in the nine spot. He is a right-hander. 31 games on the 63 season. Six starts, one complete game, 74 innings. He was 4-3 and three with a 496 ERA. 
Demeter is at the plate. 6 nothing Phillies. We're in the top of the second. The pitch. Tough result. 72. Ground ball bowling. He's going to go the short way to McMillan, and that's going to retire the Phillies in the second, but not before they add four to the carnage. It is 6 nothing Philadelphia going to the bottom of the second inning. The good news is that Paul Brown is pitching for the Phillies today. And the Braves will have opportunities. All right. So, it's Larker, Jones, and Torrey in the bottom of the second against Brown. The pitch. In play result for, Joe, for Larker. Ground ball, Tony Taylor to his left. He gloves it and throws to Demeter for out number one. Lee May. Or I'm sorry, not Lee May. Mac Jones. There's Mac Jones. Mac Jones at the plate against Paul Brown. That's a patient result, and that's ball four. Mac Jones trots down to first base. There's might be something for the Braves. Torrey comes up. Brown kicks and deals. Wheelhouse for Torrey. This is trouble. This is going to be trouble. It is grounded down the left field line. Wes Covington's got to go dig it out. Jones around second. He's going to go to third. There's going to be two Braves in scoring position now for shortstop Roy McMillan. Hank Fisher is on deck. Brown the stretch and the delivery. It's a wheelhouse. McMillan hits it in the air to right. Not deep. Under it is Callison, and he's going to make the catch for out number two. Now it's Fisher. Hank Fisher's batting card is a three, so I really ought to use the appropriate one. Here we go. See if Hank can drive home a run here. Pitch from Brown is a patient result. That's a 54. Hit in the air to right one more time. Johnny Callison makes the catch, and that'll retire the Braves in the second. Go to the third. It's Philadelphia six. Milwaukee nothing. Fisher will face Dalrymple, Amaro, and Brown, 7-8-9 in the Phillies' order. All right. The pitch from Fisher is a tough result. That's a 67. That's going to be grounded to Roy McMillan. Roy's up with it and throws to Norm Larker for one out. Amaro, one for one. Tough result. Hey, struck him out on a bender. First strikeout for Fisher. Now it'll be Paul Brown. Patient result. Brown walks. Second walk of the game for Paul Brown. Tony Taylor coming up. Fisher the stretch and the pitch to him is a patient result. And this is big trouble for the Braves again. Right center and deep. Going to one-hop the wall. Look at Taylor run. Paul Brown is going to be waved around third with two outs. Taylor heading for third. He's in there head first with a slide, with a sliding triple. 7 nothing Phillies in the third. Hoke coming up. One for two for Don. Fisher's pitch. Tough result. 69 Ground ball bowling. Frank's got it. Cuts it off from going up the middle. Plants and throws to Larker, and that'll retire Philadelphia in the third. But they get another run on a hit. We go to the bottom of the third. 7 nothing Phillies. 
Paul Brown has not been perfect by any stretch, but he's getting the job done. Ty Klein, Frank Bowling, and Henry Aaron coming up. Top of the order for the Braves in the third. The pitch to Ty Klein. Patient result. He walked him. Fourth base runner for the Braves in two plus innings. Bowling is up. 0 for 1. The pitch to Frank. Patient result. He walks two in a row. Good start for the Braves. The hammer is coming up. Phillies infield playing for two. Pitch to Aaron. In play. Hit in the air to center. That's Tony Gonzalez coming in and making the catch. Holding his Klein and now Eddie Matthews comes up. Pitch from Brown. Tough result. Hey, struck him out on the broccoli cauliflower medley. Paul Brown with some upstairs gas. Larker, two outs, two on. 0 for 1 for Norm, the pitch. Patient results. And look at this. Norm Larker. Down the right field line. Bouncing around in the corner. Callison's got to go get it. Klein scores from second. It's 7-1. to one. Stopping at third is bowling. It's a run-scoring double for Norm Larker. Mac Jones comes to the plate. We're in the bottom of the third. 7-1 Phillies. Jones walked last inning. The pitch to him is a patient result. And Jones with a base hit. Going to be 7-2. And Larker is going to be waived. It's going to be 7-3 and a two-run single to center by Mac Jones. 7-3 Philadelphia now and Torrey coming to the plate. Paul Brown starting to act like, well, Paul Brown. Torrey doubled in the second. The pitch to him. In play. Broken bat job. Base hit. Left field. Stopping at second is Jones. Two on for the Braves with two outs. And McMillan comes to the plate. Fisher on deck. 7-3 Philadelphia. Bottom of the third. The pitch. Tough result. Hit in the air to center, not deep. Tony Gonzalez will make the catch and retire Milwaukee in the third. But they get three on three hits and leave two. Those bases on balls. We go to the fourth. 7-3 Phillies. Callison, Gonzalez, Covington, a trio of left-handed sticks for the Phillies in the fourth. In play result for Callison. Comebacker, gloved by Fisher. He turns and throws to Larker for out number one. Tony Gonzalez is up. Wheelhouse. Hit in the air to right. Back goes Aaron. Warning track. Makes the catch for out number two. Covington. Patient result. Walked him. Two out walk by Fisher. Brings up Demeter. Phillies first baseman today. 0 for 2. The pitch from Fisher. Defense check. A 91 will be an error check for Mac Jones. Mac Jones' error number is a 3. 1 to 50, he's going to botch it. He makes the catch. Had it the whole way. After three and a half, Phillies seven, Braves si uh, three. And now it's going to be decision time for manager Bobby Bragan as Hank Fisher is due to lead off.
the fourth inning. I get a pinch hitter. Len Gabrielson, backup outfielder, is going to bat for Hank Fisher. Fisher went two and a third innings, allowed just one hit, but it was a run scoring triple by Tony Taylor. Uh, where the run was earned, he walked two, he struck out one in two and a third innings. Tony Cloninger will be the new pitcher for the Braves in the top of the fifth. He is warming up in the bullpen right now. Gabrielson set to lead off against Paul Brown. And that's a patient result for Gabrielson, and that's hit in the air to center field. Tony Gonzalez calling and taking for out number one. All right. Ty Klein coming up. Defense check, 92. B... A left, uh, I'm sorry, a center field error check for Tony Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez's error number is a four. And he makes the catch for out number two. Frank Bowling with two outs and nobody aboard comes up now. He's 0 for 1. Ballpark check. That's an 18. It's a wheelhouse result for bowling. And that is hit on the ground to short. Ruben Amaro's up with it, and he throws to Don Demeter for out number three. It's Paul Brown's first. One, two, three inning. We go to the fifth. With your score, Phillies seven, Braves three. We have a new pitcher for the Braves coming. Tony Cloninger, he will eventually become the ace of the Braves staff. He's 9-11 and 11 in 63 with a 378 earned run average. And he is on in relief here today. All right, so Dalrymple leads off against Cloninger. Top of the fifth, 7-3 Phillies. Tough result. Uh, ground ball, Roy McMillan. He's up with it and throws to Norm Larker for out number one here in the fifth. Ruben Amaro, one for two. The pitch from Cloninger. Patient, and he walks him. That is walk number one, two, three, four, five for the Braves in four and a third innings of pitching. Paul Brown is going to continue in this game. And let's see what we want to do here. <sighs> They're going to ask him to bunt. So we'll see how that works out. He is a C bunter. The pitch from Cloninger to Brown. It's a 43. He gets it down. It is bunted to out in front of home plate. Torrey is on it. He fires to bowling covering first, and that will move the base runner to second, Amaro. And with two outs, it's Tony Taylor. Cloninger the stretch, the pitch to Taylor is a tough result. A 97 is hit in the air to left. Mac Jones with room puts it away for out number three. We're halfway through this one, and it's Philadelphia 7, Milwaukee 3. Brown is now a fatigue pitcher. He has an endurance of four. And so... He will face Aaron Matthews and Larker, the three, four, five hitters in Milwaukee's lineup in the fifth. I'm going to try and get him to qualify for the win. Aaron is up one for two. The pitch to him is a tough result, which may adjust. 
Half to 16, that will stay a tough result. And it's grounded to Ruben Amaro at short. He cuts it off from going up the middle and plants and throws to Demeter at first for the putout. Here's Eddie Matthews. Patient result. That is a 62. It'll remain a patient result. And this is hit in the air to right. Johnny Callison under it. And there's two gone in the Braves' fifth. Norm Larker now. And a tough result. This will be a 78. That's going to be a hanger to Larker. And Larker with a base hit. That's going to go to left field. Drop in front of Covington. And there's a Braves base runner with two outs. Mac Jones comes up now. Big two-run single for him in the third. The pitch is a tough result. So that'll be a 69. That's a hanger to Mac Jones. Jones swings, and it's to right and deep. Back goes Callison, and it's gone. A four RBI day now for Mac Jones with a two-run bomb making it. Philadelphia 7, Milwaukee 5, and Torrey comes to the plate. That's going to get action going in Gene Mock's bullpen. Ryan Duran starts to throw in the Phillies bullpen for manager Gene Mock, and Torrey comes to the plate. Now he's 2 for 2. Paul Brown kicks and deals. That's going to be in play. And hit in the air to right. Johnny Callison coming in a few steps. He'll make the catch for out number three. The Braves crawling back into this game after giving the Phillies seven runs. They've got five back. After five complete, it's a 7-5 ball game. Cloninger going to try and hold them where they're at. Hoke, Callison, and Gonzalez coming up for the Phillies in the sixth. Conninger winds and deals. It's a ballpark check. It's a 99. Going to be an in-play result for Hoke. Hit in the air to center. Ty Klein is there for out number one. Now it's Callison, one for three. A tough result, and hey, struck him out on the broccoli cauliflower medley. With a little nacho cheese. Gas. Gonzalez one for three. The pitch. Wheelhouse result. 66. It's a hanger to left. Going back is Jones. Warning track. He makes the catch. One more biscuit for breakfast. And Tony Gonzalez adds to the Phillies lead. But no. All right, so Brown is going to come out now for the sixth inning. He does qualify for the win. He's on an extremely short leash with manager Gene Mock. However, it'll be McMillan, Cloninger, uh, and... The top of the order with Ty Klein in the Braves' sixth. 7-5 Phillies. Brown kicks and deals. That's a patient result. A 33 stays a patient result. And it's hit in the air to right. Callison back a few steps. He's going to make the catch for out number one. Cloninger... Will bat. Seven hitting card. Brown kicks and deals. Defense check. That's a 35. Range check for Callison. Callison's range is an A. 1 to 24. It's going to drop for a hit. It... is going to be a rare play. Yes, it's going to be a rare play. 
All right, so I rolled a 15 on the rear play. Hard ground ball in the hole between second and first base. Second base with an A range. Makes an unbelievable diving stop. at Throws batter out at first base. He has B range. Second baseman with a B range. Knocks down the ball but can't make the play. All right, so it's a hit for Cloninger. One out, one on now for Ty Klein. And I think that's going to do it for Paul Brown and his band of renown. Ryan Duran will be the new pitcher. Brown goes five and a third. He allows two, four, six, eight hits. Five runs so far. They're all earned. And he walked one, two, three batters. And he struck out one, two batters. No home runs. Oh, one home run allowed to Mac Jones. So Duran is on. We can remove our fatigued starting pitcher card. And Duran in 63. 33 games, seven starts. Six and two with a 330 earned run average. He's a long reliever. Ty Klein at the plate. Cloninger at first, the pitch. Tough result, 40. Hey, struck him out. Two down in the sixth, and now it'll be bowling. The pitch to Frank. Tough result, 77. Hit in the air to center, Tony Gonzalez is going to make the catch for out number three. With six in the books, it's Philadelphia 7, Milwaukee 5. Cloninger coming out for inning number three of work. Facing Covington, Demeter, and Dalrymple. Two for two for Wes. The pitch from Cloninger. Tough result. Ground ball, Roy McMillan. Roy throws to Larker, and there's one down. Cloninger has done a nice job in relief. Demeter 0 for 3, the pitch to him. In play, 55, ground ball, Eddie Matthews to his left, plants, and throws to Larker for out number 2. Here's Dalrymple, 0 for 2 for Clay. Pitch to him, patient result, 17, he walked him. Second walk for given up by Cloninger, and Amaro comes to the plate. On deck is Duran. Pitch. Is a tough result, and hey, struck him out. Second one for Cloninger. He finishes up three nice innings of relief. We'll see if he comes out for the fourth inning of relief. And Duran, in the meantime, will face Aaron Matthews and Larker in the Braves' seventh. Hank Henry is one for three. Duran winds and deals. That's a patient result, and it's hit hard by Aaron into left center field. Covington cuts it off, but Aaron's around first, going to second, sliding into second with a double, and Eddie Matthews comes to the plate. That will inspire Gene Mock to get on the phone and get some more relief help throwing. Marcelino Lopez and Johnny Klipstein. Lefty-righty double-barreled action just the way Gene Mock likes it whenever he's in Brewtown. Eddie Matthews at the plate during the stretch. The pitch to him. Tough result, 74. Ground ball. Ruben Amaro holding his Aaron. The play to first, one down. Larker up, two for three. During the stretch and the delivery to Norm Larker, that I struck him out. Baked beans. Gas from Ryan Duran. And now Mac Jones having a big day. Two for two. Four ribbies, a homer, a walk, a run scored. During the stretch, the pitch. Ballpark check. This is going to be a hanger to Mac Jones. Is he going to get another one? And it's a base hit. Is Aaron going to score? 
going to be into right field. They could, let's see what happens here. Aaron is around third. Is he going to be waived? Check his running. He will score, and it's seven to six. Five RBIs for Mac Jones. Joe Torrey comes up. He's the potential go-ahead run here in the bottom of the seventh. Two for three for Torrey. During the stretch and the delivery, patient result, he walked him. Two on now for Milwaukee with two outs and Roy McMillan coming up. He's going to try and get Duran through this inning because Duran is set to lead off the eighth. Might be his last batter, Cloninger in the on-deck circle, but he may not bat if it gets to him. The pitch to McMillan. Ballpark, 76, in play. Base hit, McMillan. Is... Mac Jones going to score. Everybody's going to hold. Bases are dripping with Braves and two outs. Gene Mock is waiting for Bobby Bragan to send up a pinch hitter for Cloninger, and here he comes. And it's going to be... Lee May. Not that Lee May. Lee May batting for Cloninger in the seventh. Bases loaded. Here comes Mock. He wants Marcelino Lopez, the left hander, to face May. So it's going to be a lefty lefty matchup. Duran's day is done. You can put a fork in him. One and a third innings. He allowed three hits, he walked one, he struck out two, no home runs allowed. Lopez, four games, 1-0 record, 6 ERA in 1963. So, Bobby Briggins going back to the bench, and it's going to be... Boy, he's going to go with Lee May. Lefty, lefty matchup, two out, seven, six Phillies, bottom of the seventh. The pitch from Marcelino Lopez to Lee May. Patient result. May corks it to right and deep. Back goes Callison. Warning track makes the catch for out number three. The Braves get a run out of all that. On three hits, they leave three. We go to the eighth. It's Phillies seven, Braves six. And we're going to get a new pitcher for Milwaukee. Claude Ramon will be the new Braves pitcher, 4 and 6 with a 540 earned run average in 1963. That'll bring up uh, a left handed pinch hitter from Gene Mock's bench for Marcelino Lopez. It'll be John Hernstein batting for the pitcher. Then it'll be the top of the order Taylor and Hoke. The pitch is a tough result, and hey, struck out Hernstein on a bender. One down in the Phillies' eighth. We got a 7-6 ball game. The Phillies led at one time, 7 to nothing. Taylor, two for four. The pitch from Ramon. Wheelhouse, uh-oh. Base hit for Taylor to right field. He goes the other way. One out, one on. Dan Schneider, the phenom, is throwing in the bullpen for the Milwaukee Braves. The left-hander, the 20-year-old lefty. Hoke is up, one for four. Ramon, the pitch to him. 
patient result. They walked him. Two on now with one out, and here comes Bobby Bregan. He's got to yank him. Ramon having early season trouble. And so he's going to the left-hander, the 20-year-old Dan Schneider. Schneider will bat ninth. And he is in to face the lefties in the Phillies lineup. Callison and Gonzalez and Covington, unless Mock goes to the bench. Two on, one out. Lefty, lefty matchup, the pitch from Schneider. In play, 52. Ground ball, Eddie Matthews. Double play numbers. Uh, six and a five. And Matthews goes to bowling for one. The relay to Larker is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing, around-the-horn 5-4-3 double play turn by Milwaukee, and Phenom Dan Schneider comes through again. We go to the bottom of the eighth with your score, Phillies 7, Braves 6. We get a new Phillies reliever. Clipstein for the Phillies, tough right-hander. 49 games, 5-6 and six with a 193 earned run average in 1963. He is on eight saves, 112 innings. He will face the top of the order, Klein, Bowling, and Aaron in the bottom of the eighth. Throwing in the Phillies' bullpen right now is Jack Baldshin, another stud righty that Gene Mock was able to use with great effectiveness in 1963. Klein is 0 for 3. Klipstein kicks and deals. Tough result. Base hit for Ty Klein. Goes into right field. Callison gloves it and throws it back in. There's your tying run. Bowling comes to the plate. Clipstein, the stretch, the pitch to Bowling. He squares to Bunt. And he gets it down. Uh, it is bunted back to Klipstein. He looks at second. No play there. He fires to first to Tony Taylor covering. And Klein moves up 90 feet. There's your tying run. Henry Aaron coming to the plate. Matthews is on deck. You can't really walk Aaron here and put the go-ahead run on. So they're going to pitch to Aaron. Clipstein the stretch, the pitch to the hammer. Tough result. Hey, struck out Aaron. Two down. Now it's Matthews. Now they could walk him and go after Larker, but Larker's had a big day by Norm Larker standards. <laughs> Two for four. I don't think they walk Matthews here. Well, he might. It's Gene Mock. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to walk him. Walking Eddie Matthews to get to Norm Larker. Seems like a no-brainer. Ty Klein at second. Eddie Matthews at first. We're in the bottom of the eighth. It's 7-6 Phillies. If Larker gets another hit, which he hasn't had three hits since T-ball, so my my <laughs> I've got my doubts. Clipstein the stretch, the pitch to Larker. Oh, and I'm dropping dice left and right. It's a ballpark check. It's a wheelhouse for Norm Larker. <laughs> Norm Larker with an extra base hit. This one is going to be into right field. Off the wall. Callison takes it on a hop. Klein scores. We're tied at seven. Eddie Matthews gets to third. 
Norm Larker with a three hit, two double, two RBI, two run scored day. Ties up the game at seven in the bottom of the eighth. Here's Mac Jones, who's had an even bigger day than Larker. First base is open. Torrey is on deck. I can't walk Mac Jones to get to Joe Torrey, so I'm going after Jones. Clips sign the stretch. The delivery to Mac Jones. Tough result. Hey, struck him out. That's going to end the Braves' eighth, but they get a run. In the Phillies' ninth, Schneider is back out. Tony Gonzalez leads off, and hey, struck him out. One down in the ninth for the 20-year-old Phenom. Now Roy Seavers is going to bat for Wes Covington against the left-hander. The pitch from Schneider to Seavers has popped up. Wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Eddie Matthews, fair territory, makes the catch for out number two in the top of the ninth. We're tied at seven. Philly's looking for any kind of a run. Don Demeter comes up with two outs. Hey, pops it up. Roy McMillan on the infield dirt calling and taking, and that's going to do it for the Phillies in the ninth. We're going to the bottom of the ninth now. With your score, Phillies seven, Braves seven. And... It's going to be Klipstein back out there to face the Braves. Joe Torre will lead off. He draws a leadoff walk off of Klipstein. There's your winning run, potentially. Dennis Menke is going to run at first base for him. Roy McMillan gets down a sacrifice. That's going to move Menke to second. Klipstein in a jam now. Winning run 180 feet away. And we're going to see Don Dillard pinch hit for Schneider. Dillard, a left-handed batting a reserve outfielder. The pitch from Klipstein is hit to right. Under it is Johnny Callison. He's going to make the catch for out number two. And Menke tags up and goes to third base. Brings up Ty Klein with a chance to win the game. Dennis Menke, 90 feet away, the pitch to Klein. He hits it in the air to right, over by the right field foul line. And Johnny Callison puts it away for out number three in the bottom of the ninth. We're still tied at seven. We're going to have an extra inning ball game today. We go to the 10th, 7-7, seven, seven, your score. All right, so we're going to see some changes here for the Braves. Need a new pitcher. Schneider was pinch hit for. So it's going to be Sadowski. The right-hander taking over on the mound for the Braves in the 10th. Uh, no other team. Oh, we need a new catcher for the Braves because Menke ran for Torrey. So we're going to get a new catcher. Batting 7th will be... Del Crandall. And he will take over behind the plate in the top of the 10th. Braves have come all the way back from seven down. To knot it at seven on a run scoring double by Norm Larker in the bottom of the eighth. Scored Ty Klein all the way, well, from second base. All righty, so let's tell you about Bob Sadowski. Sadowski, five and seven, 19 games, 18 of them starts, five complete games. He was five and seven with a 262 earned run average. All right, so it's going to be Sadowski pitching to the bottom third. Of the order for the Phillies, it's Dalrymple, Amaro, and a pinch hitter, probably, for Hernstein. Or, yeah, for not for Hernstein. For Klipstein. 
And that will make the new pitcher for the Phillies in the bottom of the 10th, Jack Baldshin. Who's the other ace short reliever for the Phillies in 63. But first things first, let's deal with the Phillies half of inning number 10, Sadowski pitching to Dalrymple. Clay is 0 for 2 with a pair of walks. The pitch is a tough result. And Dalrymple swings, lifts it to left field. Mac Jones on the run into left center makes a nice running catch. One down in the 10th, Ruben Amaro coming up. Sadowski kicks and deals to the Philly shortstop. Patient result, he draws a walk. One out, one on for the Phillies. Gene Mock indeed is going to his bench to hit for Klipstein. Mock's got more players left than Bobby Bragan does. It's going to be first baseman Frank Torrey to hit for Klipstein. And brother, of course, of Joe Torrey. Tony Taylor is on deck. There's one out. And Amaro at first base. Sadowski the stretch. The delivery to Torrey. Tough result. Torrey hits it in the air to left. Dying quail. Here comes Mac Jones. He's got it for out number two. Up now, Tony Taylor. With Amaro still at first base, Sadowski the stretch and the delivery to the Phillies second baseman, patient result. He had him. He just dotted Tony Taylor. Tony gives him a look but runs down to first. Amaro advances to second. There's two Phillies on with two outs now. For Don Hoke, of course, the star of City Slickers. One for four, the pitch from Sadowski. Yes, hit on the ground to Macmillan. He gloves it. No sign of Rock Hudson, Susan St. James, or John Shuck. He flips it to Frank Bowling at second base, and that'll retire the Phillies in the 10th. What a job by the Braves' bullpen. They have pitched two, four, six, eight, and a third innings of shutout baseball to hold the Phillies where they are and give the Braves a chance to get back in this game. After nine and a half innings in Milwaukee, Phillies seven, Braves seven, Baldshin is on. Careful how you say that. Jack was 11 and seven with a 230 ERA in 1963. 16 saves in 65 innings. He threw 113, sorry, 65 games, 113 innings. So bowling... Then Henry Aaron, then Eddie Matthews, the two, three, four batters in the Braves lineup in the bottom of the 10th. Baldshin kicks and deals to Bowling. Tough result. Bowling swings and pops it up. Ruben Amaro on the infield dirt calling and taking for out number one. Henry Aaron, two for five in the game. Eddie Matthews is next. Baldshin winds and deals. Defense check, 88 on the defense check. All right. Where is my chart? Here we go. And 88 is an error check for Don Demeter. Demeter is now in left field. Seavers is at first base. Demeter's defense in left field is a three. He's an error three. So let's see if he makes this play. One to 50, he does not. And he makes the catch for out number one in the bottom of the 10th. I'm sorry, out number two in the bottom of the 10th. Eddie Matthews coming up now. Norm Larker and his three hits on the day would be next. Eddie Matthews at the plate.
Valdshan winds and delivers. Tough result. 76. Hit in the air to center. Tony Gonzalez is there. He puts it away for out number three. We're going 11. With your score, Phillies 7, Braves 7. And Sadowski is going to have his hands full in the 11th because the meat of the Phillies order is coming up. Callison, Gonzalez, and now Seavers. Coming up for manager Gene Mock. Callison is one for five. The pitch from Sadowski is in play. Right-handed pitcher popped up. Bowling just barely into the outfield. Grass is calling and taking for out number one. Deep breath of relief there. Here's Gonzalez. Tony is one for five. The pitch... Tough result, 64, hit in the air to left, not deep, Mac Jones with plenty of room, puts it away for out number two, here's Roy Seavers, 36 year old home run, def or former home run champ by 1963, Sadowski kicks and deals, in play result, base hit Seavers, to left field, Mac Jones takes it on a hop and throws it back in. That'll bring up Demeter. Dalrymple would be next for Philadelphia. Demeter's 0 for 5. Sadowski the stretch and the delivery. Tough result. Sadowski hits it. I'm sorry, Demeter hits it in the air to right. This will drive Aaron back. But he's got room, and he makes the catch for out number three. We're going to the bottom of the 11th with your score. Phillies 7, Braves 7, Baldshin, inning number two. Larker, Jones, and Crandall now coming up in the bottom of the 11th. Any old kind of a run is going to win it for the Braves in walk-off fashion. Norm Larker is on fire with a 3-for-5 day. Baldshin winds and deals. In play result, Larker hits it on the ground to Don Hoke by the third base bag. He fires to Seavers for out number one. Four up and four down for Baldshin. Here comes Mac Jones, the star of the game for the Braves. Five RBIs, three for four, a homer. The pitch. To, from Baldshin is patient. And it's a base hit for Jones. He's got his fourth hit. This one goes to center field. Tony Gonzalez throws it back in. Now it's Crandall. Baldshin the stretch. This is Crandall's first plate appearance in this ball game. Roy McMillan is on deck. The pitch. Defense check. That is a 60. So it's an error check for Don Hoke. Don Hoke's error number is a 3. 1 to 50, he boots it. He booted it. Let's see how badly. A 4. Hoke throws it past Roy Seavers into foul territory. Tony Taylor's got to go get it. Around second goes Mac Jones. He's not going to stop till he gets to third. Crandall takes second on the E5. The Braves have the winning run 90 feet away. With one out, the Phillies infield and outfield come in. Roy McMillan is due. But will he bat? That's the question on America's mind. On deck is Sadowski. They're going to let McMillan bat. And so Gene Mock is going to elect to put McMillan on and load the bases with one out. 
and get a force. They're going to play the infield in. The bases are now loaded. Let's set the stage for you here. Mac Jones at third. Del Crandall at second. Roy McMillan at first. Only one out. Bottom of the 11th. Sadowski is due, and we're going to see a pinch hitter. Getting up in the Braves' bullpen to, pit, to start throwing is Denny LeMaster. Pinch hitting for the Braves will be left-handed pinch hitter Gus Bell. Who was just about at the end of his career. In 1963, he had three at-bats. So Bell is going to bat for Sadowski. He's a left-handed batter and in his day was quite a hitter. Everybody is in defensively. The outfield is at little league depth. And the infield is way in as well. All right. Jack Baldchen the stretch. The delivery home to Gus Bell. That's a tough result. 79. Hit to second. So let's see what happens okay, here. This is our infield in chart. We're going to re-roll the 2D6, total them, and look at the chart. Gus Bell is hit it on the ground to Tony Taylor. The ball sneaks past the drawing in infield, and that's the ball game. A walk off pinch hit single for 34 year old Gus Bell to give the Braves an 8 7 lead or victory and a 6 and 2 record after eight games in this season. Wow, Jack Baldwin takes the loss. The victory goes to Bob Sadowski, two innings of relief. He allowed one hit, one walk, didn't strike anybody out, didn't allow any runs. So Baldwin with the loss, Sadowski with the win. Let's give you the totals. 11 innings, a walk-off pinch hit single by Gus Bell. 8-7, Braves. So Milwaukee had eight runs. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 hits. They had no errors. And the Phillies had seven runs. 2, 4, 2, 4 6, 8, 10 hits. And they committed one costly error in the 11th by Don Hoke, the star of City Slickers. All right, so there are your totals. MVP of the game. Well, I'm going to go Mac Jones, even though Gus Bell did get the pinch hit walk-off single. This was an amazing comeback. The Braves were down 7 nothing. came back with seven runs to tie it in the bottom of the eighth, or by the bottom of the eighth. And then they got another one in the 11th. With one out, Mac Jones singled, advanced to second, on a, uh, to third, excuse me, on a two-base throwing error by Don Hoke. Gene Mock then walked Roy McMillan to load the bases. Gus Bell came up to pinch hit for pitcher Bob Sadowski and delivered a pinch hit walk-off single that won it for the Milwaukee Braves. They are now 6-2. and two. Man. All right, a lot of fun. Payoff pitch baseball. Thank you for being with me. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out channel membership. Follow the link in the description for this video. Thank you for being with me. Have a wonderful day. So long, everybody.